brothers and sisters, we are already on the eighth Sunday in ordinary time, and very soon we will be entering Lent season in preparation for Easter. So today's reading is a very good preparation for us to take Lent seriously. Jesus Christ, into the Gospel reading, is telling a parable to whom? To his disciples, to teach his disciples how to become like the Master. We are all disciples of the Lord, isn't it? So we must be trained by the Lord to become like the Lord. We have been praying this every day. Do you ever realize what you say every day? I trust in you completely, Lord. Please allow my thoughts, my words, my action to fully conform to your will. Have you been following the Lord? Do you think like the Lord? Do you speak like the Lord? Do you act like the Lord? Are you like our teacher? Are you well trained by him? And the word of God reminds us, the disciple is not superior to his teacher. How often we tell our teacher to follow our ways. Mm. Have you realized that? God? Very often we have our plan ready for the Lord. Lord, please place this plan. You must follow my plan. Have you ever realized that? We have our plan ready for the Lord and we ask the Lord to follow our plan without realizing it. That. So how can we conform our plan to God's plan? We want God to conform His plan to our plan. We become spiritually blind. We cannot see the plan of the Lord. That's why Jesus Christ is telling His disciples, can one blind man guide another one? That means blind lady, the blind. Surely both will fall into the pit. So Jesus Christ reminds his disciples, the fully trained disciple will always be like his teacher. So if we follow the Lord's ways fully, we will also be able to see like the Lord see. We won't become spiritually blind. Very often we don't see like our master sees. Very often we don't think like our master thinks. And often times we don't do as our master do. So the first thing we must learn is what? Yeah? He invites his disciples. Come to me, all of you who are heavily burdened, and learn from me, and I will unburden all your Lord, your worries and anxiety, and learn from me. Take my yoke and learn from me, for I'm humble and meek of heart. Jesus' heart is meek, very, very humble. So the first lesson we learn from our mother is to be meek and humble of heart. That's why when we are not meek and humble, when we become proud, we tend to judge people. We tend to find faults against one another. Uh, we tend to correct one another instead of allowing ourselves to be corrected by others. And so Jesus Christ said, how can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the splinter that is in your eye when you cannot see the plan in your own eye? Plan is a big piece. <laughs> when your eye is being covered, it blur, you become blurred. You cannot see clearly. <laughs> That's why you see the faults of other people, not their own faults. Most so we must allow the Lord to form us, to change us, to remove all the planks from our eyes so that we will be able to see clearly. And he resembled a true disciple to what? Uh, to, he compared it to a good tree, a sound tree that always bear good fruits. A bad tree, unsound tree will bear what? Lousy fruit, sour fruits. Or it will bear sour grapes. You know, the people don't like it. So again, remind us, a good man draws what is good from the store of goodness in his heart. 
a bad man draws what is bad from the store of his badness. So a man's words flow out of what fills his heart. Is our heart is wicked? If our heart is distorted, full of judgmental attitude, we tend to judge other people. We tend to condemn other people. That's why we must learn from Jesus to be meek and humble of heart. And in the message of Lord, Jesus Christ is teaching us how to become little children. This is given February 18, 1993. So listen very carefully. Become children. So he's telling us, become children. Know clearly that Satan leads you to judge with your own ideas and behave like adults, feeling self-confident and thus makes you fall into a trap. They refer to the Pharisees, they are full of pride, self-confident. They thought that they know better than Jesus you know, and want to trap Jesus. You must gain heaven by offering yourself up with a child's heart, to have a heart of a child. Again, he continued to say, My children, whom I love so dearly, do not try to calculate the outcome in human ways and out of curiosity. You must know that the Lord's ways are so different from human ways. So do not view anything with human eyes or think in human ways. But keep and follow the Lord's law faithfully. So we must not think like adults, like human beings thinking. We must think like our master is thinking. We know here we have a good, well, very well trained disciple, you know who is she? She's like the master. She really, she's like the master. She thinks like the master thing, And she speaks like the master speak and act like the master acts. And this lady saw so you all know her very well. She's a spiritual mother. She always think of other people, always reach out to other people. She always want to offer what she had. For those people who are unfortunate, who are more hungry than her, even though she have only one lunch box for that day, but when she came across some beggar who looked so miserable, so hungry, she offered that lunch box to the beggar, and she practiced and she go as if she has already eaten the lunch. And when he saw the baker was so hungry, ate up all the food, she felt so happy. She felt her stomach is full. You know, one occasion, the Bishop Danucci, he was one of the first bishops who came to Naju. He witnessed the original statue of Mother Mary that shed tears and tears of blood. He saw and he believed. He wrote the testimony. Yeah. He became very sick. He had this uh, suffering from this high cup and a pain in the stomach, you know. And she went for medication. She didn't feel better and asked Julia to pray for him. And Julia prayed for him. Oh, I thought he was healed. But after Sunday, this high cup came back. It re re -occurred. She prayed for him again and was healed. But after Sunday, she felt the pain again. So the little soul heard about this place called Mount Biso. There's spring water that is very high up in the mountain. So says, make an effort to go to this place during winter time, January 18. She wanted to pay someone to guide her up to collect this water. But nobody wanted because it's so dangerous and so cold and so risky. So out of love for Bishop Daniel Chi, she climbed up with the container. It was so in pain and suffering, she climbed up, and eventually she reached the place, and she managed to get the water. After that, she climbed down very, very happy. And before she reached the, the foot of the mountain, she slipped and fell down, and the whole bucket of water was was on top of her and her body was more or less frozen by this freezing water. So they all encouraged her, but they go back now, it's already getting late, you know. 
but she refused to go back. She went up again with much difficulty and pain, but she prayed all the time until she reached the place and she came down with another bucket of water. And the Lord spoke to her, was so happy with her, seeing her heart that is reaching out to people. Uh, and she gave these words to her at that time. In the not too distant future, to my mother and I will give you a miraculous spring close to your place where we will overflow with love and grace true and true, which souls and bodies can be healed. Because of her love for people, she only wants people to be healed. And she didn't mind to suffer for these people. So the Lord promised her the miraculous spring water of mercy in the Blessed Mother Mountain. So brothers and sisters, let us learn from the life of the little soul prepared by the Lord. She was well trained by her master because she really acted like the so our spiritual blindness will be here. We will be able to see spiritually the goodness of other people. So that we will become good tree that will always bear good fruits. That we will truly become well-trained disciples like the Master. So let's remember a well-trained disciple is always like the the teacher like the master. So let us continue to learn from the little soul to become a well-trained disciple of the Lord. Amen.